about to do, but I'm still young and agile, so I'm going to do it. At some point, I am going to weld some steps on here to make it a lot easier. But in the meantime, here's what you get. in my last shot I was too far zoomed in so you didn't actually see what I was doing but I was wrapping the chain around the tree as high as I can reach which on this particular tree happens to be about as high as is left on it and then I took brought the chain down and I've hooked it onto the tractor with a, uh, a drawbar mounted clevis so now I'm just going to ease it forward and see what happens Okay, so you can see it ripped that root off and that sideways root came out real easy because I loosened up the dirt. This tree was a lot easier than I expected, honestly. Um, this works really well. There's been some that have been a lot harder, but usually what happens is if you can pull it from this direction, it'll loosen it up, and then when you pull it the other direction, it'll usually give. You'll usually snap a few of the roots, but some will be held on, and when you pull it from a different direction, it usually goes. I've used this for trees up to a about six inches in diameter. Much more than that, it really doesn't work well. I hope you enjoyed the video. I've used this method to clear out a lot of trees from this area. You can see it's opened up pretty good. In a second, I'll include a shot of what it looked like before I started brush hogging and clearing out some of these scrub trees. This is really more of the way it should be done if you're not gonna cut it off at ground level. Uh, I'm sure I'll get lots more experts saying how it's a terrible way of doing things, but I found that it works pretty darn well. So. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will be doing another one on how to remove smaller trees. So this is more what the, this area used to look like. A lot more dense, a lot of scraggly trees, and it's really just been with brush hogging and pulling down some of the scraggly trees, like the four to six inch stuff, that it's really opened up my bonfire area. I'm sure you saw my fire pit a second ago. Uh, we'd like to have a, a lot of bonfires out here. All right, have a good day.